It's been two months since Emmanuel and Eva Abalau lost their grandson. But 15-year-old Sheki Kamara didn't die from Ebola. He was shot. Back in August, the government had sealed off the suburb of West Point to try and contain Ebola, and residents were protesting. Shaki happened to be there, as he'd been sent out to buy some tea. When security forces opened fire on the protesters, Shaki was hit in the legs. He bled to death, calling for his grandmother. Then somebody came to me and said, oh, Shak, Shaki. No way to get him to bring him near me. He not see me until he died. Before I see Shaki, there was a dead body as oh, I am. No way to get near him. He cried for me, my grandmother knew about me. Police men were passing. I know you, my grandma know me. Please go call my grandma to see me. The police men never came for me to go there. The Liberian government called Shaki's death a sad and regrettable development. In a statement, the president said the security personnel involved would face a military court martial. But Shaki's family say they haven't been told when they will see that justice served. We don't know whether they will be drinking, 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 we can't get nothing. We can't hear from nobody, no one can call us. You see, to say uh, this point to where now, there were the case and now, so we cannot go into the matter. Nothing. If we do bad news, we can't get information. We do this listing of radio, we can't get information. This is the spot where Shaki Kamara lay after receiving the injuries that killed him. While the official government investigation is still underway to determine how exactly he died, the West Point community are angry, not only at the death of a teenager, but at the quarantine that was the catalyst for this tragedy. And when government pronounced the quarantine, there was no preparation. There was no medication, no food, no water, and this place is over 60,000 inhabitants. And these were the things that we were experiencing. And majority of these people comprises of uh, women and children. And so these were the points that we're raising. Why would the government quarantine a place without providing the basic social needs for the people of which majority of them are women and children and being much vulnerable? West Point is the capital's most densely populated suburb. The government sealed it off for 11 days, but residents say the barricade was ineffective. What we observed during that process as an activist, that uh, the joint security were taking money. So if you have little money, you give them some money, they allow you to go. And these were the kind of things that were taking place. Under a state of emergency, the president has the right to carry out such cordons, but for many residents, they remain deeply unpopular. Katrina Vitozzi, CCTV, Monrovia.